Woodstock Fruit Festival. We'll see you there, August 20th, 28th, 2012. New shirts, so you can see that. I love carbs, 30 bananas, a day.com. Organic cotton too, I think. I think we sell them on our website. So qu anyway, so question of the day is, hey, Duran Rider, latest news is Lance Armstrong on the Engine 2 diet. Would love to hear your comments. Hopefully he'll find his way to the fruit. That's uh, that's not really a surprise for me because mm. breakfast, we've got 15, 16, 17 bananas in there. This is really good for my friend Gavin, organic banana farmer in Australia. Mm. We get 40 kilos of organic bananas, farmer direct, 40 kilos for $100 US. And they're really good quality, it's fantastic bananas. So thanks, Gav, for growing our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Anyway, so Lance Armstrong, Engine 2 Diet. What is Engine 2 Diet? That's the Engine 2 book. I recommend get a copy. Great book to read. Great introduction to low-fat, high-carb, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. Rip Esselstein, long-time friend of Lance Armstrong. I actually learned about Rip Esselstein through Lance Armstrong. I did a, a little training ride with Lance Armstrong in 2009. And then again in 2011, and uh, learned about Rip Wesselstein through Lance Armstrong. I've been reading all of Dr. Wesselstein's clinical data on reversing heart disease for a plant-based lifestyle. And here's Dr. Wesselstein's book. Here it is here. It's on my fucking floor. <laughs> I don't have to put it on the screen. Here it is here. Reversing heart disease, Dr. Wesselstein. So there you go, great book, and it's jam-packed full of recipes, vegan, high-carb, low-fat. So that's a great book to give to people who go, I want to see some science, I don't believe it. I've read someone's blog, and your high-fat's good for you. Bacon eggs reverses heart disease. Great book to give to people of like that who don't really understand the science yet. They're still caught in the bro-science dogma propaganda. So you give them some real science, they're like, ah, I can uptake that. Anyway, so Rip Esselstein, Lance Armstrong, vegan, high-carb, low-fat. Lance has been high-carb, low-fat since his cancer reversal. If you read his book, he actually cites Rip Esselstein back years ago. So Lance isn't new to the vegan concept at all. He's been, he's been using a lifestyle for over 10 years in staying trim, staying healthy, staying fit, staying fast, staying focused. Because low-fat gives you that mental clarity. You can just focus a lot better when you're having low fat because high fat gives you lipidemia. Look up lipidemia. All your red blood cells, all your cells get all stuck, coagulated together, can't breathe, can't focus, blah, 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 all flighty, super foody, cacao-y, wow caffeine addicted, things like that. So this is no news for me because, you know, I actually read a newspaper article in 1999 when I was studying personal training and I had a story about Lance Armstrong's recovery from cancer and I talked about his new diet he was eating. But Lance Armstrong cut out dairy, red meat, and chicken, and, and cut out coffee. And I read that, and I was like, holy shit. Like, why would you do that? But it sort of planted the seed in me. And I gave up coffee <laughs> shortly after reading that article. And that was in October 1999. It was the last time I ever had a cup of coffee. And the last time I ever had a cup of coffee, I was with my friend Booksy, and he gave me a cup of coffee. And I was chasing trucks on my bicycle all the way home. Because <laughs> caffeine is a fucking hardcore drug. Anyway, so Lance said he cut out caffeine, cut out red meat, dairy, chicken through his cancer, you know, recovery, stuff like that to boost his immune system up. And I was like, wow, that's like pretty full on, you know. But that planted a seed in me. And then in 2001, 2000, when I started getting sick and stuff like that, I was like, well, you know, Lance did it. And that sort of inspired me. A bit of a, a, bit of a stepping stone, a bit of a seed that got planted because I was just coming off the paleo primal diet, which almost killed me. But that's another story, which I've already covered. So anyways, Lance Armstrong, vegan, high carb. Everyone's fueled on plants. You can't be... A strong person, if you're not eating, you mostly calories and plants. You gotta have high carb, you gotta have the, the sugar. The body runs on sugar. When you run out of sugar, you run out of energy. You run out of everything. Your nervous system can't function. Your immune system can't function if it doesn't get enough sugar. Nothing new at all. Athletes have been using plant based diets for forever to get leaner, stronger, healthier, slimmer, trimmer, fitter, more mentally focused. It's just done, it's easy. It's common sense. I mean, last week, I got my ass kicked on a hill climb. And do you know who beat me? A fucking vegan. A fucking vegan beat me. This guy's been 
vegetarian for like 26 years and now he's gone vegan for the last two years and he kicked my fucking ass up a hill. Do you know how rare it is I get beaten up a hill? I mean, the only time I get beaten up a hill is when I'm riding with some Tour de France fucking champions and, and they put the hammer down. <laughs> but other than that, man, I ain't getting beaten up many hills. But a vegan kicked my ass last Tuesday morning. John, good work. So getting back to it, this is just a sign of things to come. The vegan, high carb, low fat thing. It's just, it's just snowballing. It's out of control. The fruit thing, everything's just getting out of control. Mainstream media, I just did mainstream Australian media. Over a few million people got to hear Banana Boy talking about the lifestyle. It's just getting bigger and bigger. YouTube's just exploding. It's non-stop. It's non-stop vegan rock around the clock. and ain't going anywhere. The time has come. This is it. It's like a bullet train, man. Make sure you're on board, validate your ticket, and enjoy the ride. Because this train's going places, I assure you of that.